Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I'm doing a first impression live swatch video of a couple of Comfort lipsticks. These are limited edition. They were released on Black Friday, actually a little bit earlier than Black Friday, on Tom Ford's website and a couple of other retailer websites. And they retail for $32 each. They are miniature lipsticks. So I know that sounds insane to pay $32 for a miniature lipstick, but it's a decent amount of product. I never finish a lipstick. And when you think about it, a full-size Tom Ford lipstick retails for, on average, $50. So this way, I was able to, I picked up three at $32 each, so I was able to actually, you know, try basically three colors for the price of two. I know, still not the cheapest method out there, but really wanted to try these since I hear pretty much nothing but good things about Tom Ford lipsticks. So for those of you that wanted to check these out, the collection is called Lips and Boys. There are 50 shades, all limited edition. It's called Lips and Boys because each shade has a man's name, and supposedly Tom Ford named each and every single lipstick after a man that, you know, he knew in his life, knows in his life, you know, like one's named after his husband. Yes, I did say husband, for those of you that didn't know. <laughs> um, one of them's named after his son, you know, his best friend, that kind of stuff. Friends, probably past lovers, all that fun stuff. But I love having lipstick that have male names. I just thought that was an interesting touch. And a lot of the names are very exotic. They're not your standard, you know, standard American names. So a lot of them are very interesting name-wise. The color range is insane. I was happy to pick up three on Black Friday. For those of you that didn't get to pick any of these up and you really want to, they will be released again December 26th, limited edition, all the same 50 shades. They'll be available pretty much anywhere online and at certain counters that sell Tom Ford. So check around um, Bloomingdale's, Saks, uh, I believe Neiman Marcus, TomFord.com, etc. Okay, so the three shades I got were Gustavo, um, Stavros, and Alistair. And let's just start with Gustavo. So the Gustavo is from the Nudes range, or the, I believe the, the Browns. The Nudes to Browns, there we go. The Nudes to Browns range of the collection. And the shade is described as a highly pearlized mocha with purple pearl. So, oh, let me just show you this really quick in case you're curious. This is the kind of box it comes in. Nothing too fancy, nothing too plain. Just says, you know, Tom Ford says the name of the color on there. It has ingredients on the back. So, nothing too special there. The packaging itself is very classy. I do like it. has a little bit of weight to it. It's not heavy, but it definitely it doesn't feel cheap. <laughs> that makes me sense. It's got TF on top for Tom Ford. Name of the color on the bottom. Pretty standard. Pop that open. It's got a very nice sturdy clasp to it. Roll that up. Here's how much product you get. I believe that is... I should look, cheat off the little box here. Because there was discussion about this online. There we go. So the mini is 2 grams, yes, 0 0.7 ounces or 2 grams. And I believe a full size is either, I think it's 4 grams. So this is 2 grams. I believe a full size is, it's either 3 or 4 grams. And they have the sample size, which is 1 gram. So this is actually more than a sample size. Okay, so enough talking. This is Gustavo. And it says... That it's hard to see, and honestly, it says it's highly pearlized mocha with a purple pearl. I'm honestly not seeing the purple. Maybe it'll read purple on my lips. I don't know. I don't see any kind of like purple pearl. And even the whole highly pearlized, I'm not really seeing. I see a little bit of pearl to it, but like not extreme. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, it does have Tom Ford right there. If it can autofocus. Tom Ford right there on top of the lipstick and let's just try this on and see how it looks oh and the trick is too you can also use the back of the lipstick instead of the front if you're worried about the design coming off so let me try that
This has a really lovely texture to it. I'm just looking in this little mirror that I have here and again I'm just I just not really seeing any kind of purple in here. I'm not really sure what that description is supposed to mean, but I do like the color. The texture is very lovely. It has a very luxe finish. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's not heavy, greasy, waxy. It's not sticky, it has a lot of slip to it. it. Has a I can't really detect the scent. I, like I can barely smell anything. It's very it's it's got that high end lipstick smell, just very slightly. It's almost perfumed, but there's like I really can't detect much of a smell at all. Alright, so this is Gustavo. Let's move on to Stavros. So this next shade is Stavros, and it is described as a highly pearlized, rich gray. And this is part of the silver to blacks section of the line. And the next color I have is also from the silver to blacks category. But this one is Stavros, and it is a highly pearlized, rich gray. Let's try it. So this is Stavros. This kind of reminds me of like a high-end version of Melt Cosmetics Space Cake. That's their gray lipstick. This is like a high-end version of that. This has a nice satin finish with, you know, obviously a bit of a shine to it. Again, don't really detect much of a smell. It just has that really nice texture. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to say the same thing about the next one. So let's just jump on. To the next one. No more explanations needed. You guys can see for yourself, but yeah, I'm liking it so far. The last shade I picked up is called Alistair, and it is described as a rich blackened orchid. So, of the three that I have, this one I can see a ton of shimmer in. It's probably not reading on camera. It is a little bit, but this one, a ton of shimmer, and it's a rich blackened orchid. Let's try it. So, I like the color, but I'm noticing the formulation on this one's a little bit more, I guess I want to say slick. It's not applying as evenly, and it's really grabbing to the dry spots on my lips. So, it's, you know, it's like it's clinging to those dry spots, so, you know, it, like, picks up a ton of product. And, you know, you can just see it, like, stuck in there. And then I feel like it's really sheer in the middle of my lip. But I couldn't really build up that opacity. So this one's applying, I guess, a bit sheerly more unevenly than the others, so I wouldn't recommend this one, to be honest. I like the color, but the application, and for a $32 miniature lipstick, I just, I think they could have done a little better on this one. This one's probably best worn as just like a hint of color, like instead of trying to really build up the color like I like to, you're probably just better off wearing this just like one swipe. Then rub your lips together just for like that just bitten look, just for like that. Just a tiny touch of color. Let me try blotting my lips. Yeah. That's better actually. Yeah, this one, this one you just kind of want to, you don't want to like layer it on and make it as dark as it is in the tube. You're really better off just having that kind of almost stained look like applying it, or you could do like I did, just apply a bunch of it, let it sit a moment and blot your lips. But this is Alistair. Okay, so all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with these. When it comes to lipstick, I like standard wear lipstick. By standard wear lipstick, I mean I can apply layer after layer after layer and just build up that opacity and have nice wear. So I really like these two, Gustavo and Stavros. <laughs> Alistair. I just don't care for that kind of application method. I don't like applying lipstick that you just blot off to have a stain. If I wanted that effect, I would just wear a lip stain. I wouldn't buy a lipstick. That's me. So unless you're down with wearing this more as kind of almost a lip stain as opposed to a traditional lipstick, I would skip Alistair. That's just me. 
I would love to pick up more of these when they become available again December 26th online at different retailers and some counters. Um, call ahead because I believe a lot of them are actually going pre-orders and some of them have already probably sold out <laughs> of the pre-orders. So let me check. I'm checking right quick a couple of the places you'll be able to get it. Nordstrom, Bloomingdale, Neiman, excuse me, Neiman Marcus, Saks, of course, TomFord.com. If you guys want to check these out, I would actually like to pick up a couple more, like maybe a pink one, a red one, and, you know, a nude one, you know, something like some standard colors. But I'm really happy with the three I got. I probably won't wear this one. I'll just wear as much. But I, I'm really liking the color once I blotted it. Because now it's, you know, now it's, you're not worried about whether it applied evenly or not. It just gave your lips that overall even kind of stained look. Okay. So let me know, did you guys pick up any of the lips and boys from the Tom Ford, you know, limited edition collection? If you didn't, are you going to pick up any? Did you like any of the ones I picked up? What do you guys think? Let me know. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to finally wearing these now that I finally got them swatched on here for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. If you're not already doing that, if you're a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. So the next time I upload a video, I'll pop up in your subscription feed. And that's it for this time around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See how much I love you. I thank you twice. All right. Bye, guys.